What's up everybody, it's Michael Real Cool Adventures. I'm with Iguana Lifestyles, the notorious Iguana Man, the real OG IG. Is that how you spell Iguana? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and we're about to get some lizards. It's going down right now. Watch me, I'm going home. Don't you get in my way, I'm going home. I got the sunshine to light my way Don't hold me back, I'm gonna elevate Whoa. Whoa. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, buddy! That's right. This is the SIG 177 caliber pellet gun. Locked and road, loaded. Ready to make the frog explode. Wow. A lizard, lizard in this case. So that is... 30 round magazine. So We're in the money, honey. Did I tell you, I used to, I was an, an art major. Oh, very good. Hey, yeah. you, you have the yeah. same one. Yeah. You yeah, try, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we draw the same, bro. Yeah, hey. Nice. Yeah. Okay, very cool. We're going to set up a little target real quick. So that's an exact replica, okay? If somebody wants to go to Shark Tank and make some type of target and make a lot of money, that's what you want to do. You want to mimic that drawing right there. And that will give you a good idea of the exact size, where you want to hit him in the head, knock him out, and then you can have dinner. First shot, cameraman. He's all right. One, He's been shot before. Two. That was low. Say hello to my little friend. Where do I want to shoot him in the head? If you, yeah, the head shots are lethal. Ooh, that's a neck. Ooh, that was a big toe. Oh, that was the that was in the butt. Okay, okay, okay. Well, it's semi-automatic. We see them. I'm just gonna just let loose. And there's that option too. Yeah, I mean that's basically. <laughs> we got we got plenty of bullets. Oh, yeah, buddy. All right, so what we're doing is we're just gonna go up and down here. I'm gonna coach them out with crumbs of bread. Then we're gonna shoot them in their little head right now. Let them come out. Let them come out. I got I I got your back, bro. One shot, one kill. Going on ice. Oh, that never hurt.
Are you kidding me? Guys, I'm shooting them underwater. Look at this. Come on. I just saw that. Oh my gosh. Where'd he go? He's right there. He's right there. You're on him. Oh Come my on. God. Check. Get the gun? Oh, he's underwater feeling for it. He's pulling a turtle man right now. Got my foot! Oh! 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 Oh, my gun! Yep. Are you alright, dude? He oh, gun. he's right there! Other side. You got your gun? I got him. Oh, I love these guns. I thought he bit you, bro. He did. He did? Yeah, but... I'm biting back. Oh, my God. Stronger than they look. They get their jaw right there. Before. Right in the water. Squeeze the crap out of me, you know oh, what I mean? Man, are, you're good. You got bit right there too or no? Just like where you wrapped right here. A little oh, shaky. Oh my goodness, dude. It's worth it now. Yeah, absolutely. We got dude. Dude. Where, where do you get bit? Bro. Just in the thumb, not bad. Oh. But we're gonna get bit even worse than the next one. Let's go get him. Alright. <laughs> we're here with the notorious iguana man and he's gonna show us his style of cooking iguana. Honestly, the way I've always done it. There's a lot of waste. I normally just use the back legs. He's gonna, this is the Iguana Guru, I-G-U-A, nay, Iguana <laughs> Pro. He's done this with more Iguanas than anybody in the world. So he's gonna teach us his style of cooking it. So let's get into it. Real quick, since we got so many Iguanas on today's video, we are just gonna go ahead and get the best piece of the Iguana, okay? We could go ahead, if we had more time, we could, you know, fillet it, you know, do it whole, but the actual best piece of the actual best piece of the iguana is the tail, okay? This yeah. is the filet mignon. Oh. Ooh. So you never had iguana tail before? Honestly, no. I've never had iguana tail. He's had the back legs? Well, I mm -hmm. think, my friend, you are in for a real treat. Oh. This guy's never had iguana either. I am psyched about it, actually. Sweet. Do you guys like uh, lemon pepper chicken wings? Yeah. I love it. What do you guys think about lemon peppered iguana tail? I think we're gonna find out. Let's right, do it. Let's do it. Let's get right into it, boys. I like lemon peppered anything. Yeah, I've never had it like this. Uh, actually, somebody suggested that we try this recipe. So we're gonna try it again today. You know, it's a nice, refreshing, just very light, natural flavor of the iguana. So we're gonna go ahead, skin these bad boys, and we'll be back and we'll show you guys the whole seasoning process. And if you guys have never heard of the iguana man, you need to check him out and his videos. He's got hundreds of millions of videos out with He's the largest iguana video guy in the world. And they're amazing, and he's done this every way possible. Anything you can think of, if you go check him out on his videos, he's done it. So if you're really into this, and it's something you want to get into, I advise you to go check out Iguana Man on YouTube. Oh, absolutely, guys. We have so much fun. We do iguana, new iguana jobs every single day, new iguana adventures, new iguana recipes. 765 days a year. Basically, yeah, yeah. We're doing it. We're catching iguanas morning, living it. evening, night, while we're sleeping, while we're in the shower, guys. We're always thinking and catching about iguanas. They're everywhere, they're taking over the state. So this is a really good thing. We're not only removing the pests from South Florida, but we are also turning them into an exotic delicacy right here. We're just cutting off the top, right? Yeah. Okay, take that top ridge off. And then you just cut a little slice. Yeah. You basically butterflying it, peeling it back. Ready? There you go. Come on, buddy. There we go. Look at that meat right there, dude. It's all white. What does that look like to you? Wahoo. It kind of looks like fish, right? <laughs> <laughs> And the good thing about iguana, unlike fish, there's no small bones. It's just got one main bone in the middle. I never knew that. On the tail. I always thought they had little bones that would break off in there. Oh, no, and get caught in your throat and stuff like that? No, sir. It's just... Because I found them dried out before, and it almost looked like a T, you know, like a spine. You got to remember, guys, these things are out here in the farms eating all the produce 
Forgot so about that one. you got to think about the meat, guys. It's all natural, all right? All grass-fed. All... Oh, yeah. oh, big boy. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. How, wow. Six feet? Six footer, yep. Yep, yep. Six footer. You're about what, like six four, six five? That's about six, a six two. footer right there. Lean, mean, iguana, bean eating machine. Arm. Look at that arm. Want to arm wrestle that thing? So, this is what we're going to be seasoning and marinating our iguana tails to make the lemon peppered iguana tail. First of all, you need lemon pepper. Okay, cool. Kind of makes sense. We'll go ahead and just. A little bit of that. Go heavy on it, huh? Yeah, I mean, we'll try it out. It, it has okay. no salt in it. Ah, uh, okay. It's salt free. You know, we gotta try to, you know, watch our health here. And too much salt can lead Was to. Is that directed to me? No, I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> to me too. I'm, hey. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still saying, out of breath. Yeah. <laughs> we do have some sea salt right here, guys. Fresh from the ocean. We're gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of this on there. If that doesn't make your mouth water after nine hours in the woods, I don't know what will. Oh. And what would be a lemon pepper iguana tail without a binding agent? We are doing lemon pepper, so we might as well hit it with some of this lemon lime soda. And we are not endorsed. We are not endorsed right here. We could have faked it like we were. <laughs> here we have it, guys. We're gonna let that marinate for about ten minutes, and we'll be back. We're gonna fire this baby up. Let's get to it. And put them on the bag. Go ahead, Mike. That crackles pop right Alright guys, so we pan seared the lemon pepper iguana. I don't know who's hungry, but go ahead and just dig in, buddy. All right, thanks. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I got you. I got you. Go ahead, man. You got your hands down. Second best thing I've ever eaten in my life. Oh my god. No, that's, that's the best thing I've ever eaten. It's got like way a, better a than Sprite chicken. glaze. Holy crap. Holy moly. Look out, Emerald. This uh, is. Now. Very, very good. Oh my goodness. You know when you can't talk? You just learn, yeah. Like we're trying to do a YouTube show and you can't talk? That's how good it is. Mm. Well, now. So I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown of what I'm tasting, all right? So basically it's got really tender sweet meat of the iguana, super tender. It's literally, like, look at this guy right here. He's it's, just like it's tender. eating it like corn on the cob. Yeah, also, it's than corn on the, cob. the flavor of this right here, this lemon pepper with this, with the Sprite, actually gave it kind of like a like a pollo tropical kind of citrus marinade to it and it's then, got a glaze is the cool part like the glaze it's, it's made it it's got a glaze and we and we seared it till it's golden brown i don't know if you guys want to get a close-up of this but i'm about to break this bad boy open real quick and kind of show you guys what we're talking about look at this right here get in on that very juicy all white meat this is very good look at that right there y'all now we're gonna switch it up let cam try it so there's no faking what we're shaking. Right. Now, that camera work might be a little bad because that's me and everybody knows I'm not good at it, but that's yeah, probably I will make again. What do you think? A little chewier than chicken, but good flavor. That's not chewy. Like Chewbacca chewy. chewy from Star Wars? Like alligator. No way. That's way more tender than alligator. That's where you and I butt heads. Yeah. That is tender. Look at the way you're eating it. Like a Iguana freak. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. Would you eat it again? Yeah, I'd eat it again. I'd try it. Would you pay for it in a restaurant? No. I wouldn't order it. you're honest. Yeah. All right. Big thanks to the Iguana Man for coming out and showing us how to cook it. That was great. We had a blast today. We're going to do more of this. If you'd like to see more of it, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on for upcoming events, and we'll see you on the next adventure. I'm coming out with the break of day I got the sunshine to light my way Don't hold me back, I'm gonna elevate